it's the first day of August. And thank you for registering in our website. My website. <laughs> By the way, today I am filming at 8.37 in the morning that I would like to send to you a welcoming video and also how to achieve your goals to becoming confident English speaker. We're going to be improving your skills and uh, adopting the awareness to becoming a confident English speaker and to overcome your fear in speaking English. Well, for those who do not know me yet, I am Kitty and I'm residing right now in an archipelago off the Philippines. And uh, I'm an independent English tutor. I should say, but I'm a corporate English tutor also, well, where I'm catering different nationalities and different levels in English. I teach English to speak with clarity, confidence, and credibility, building your self-worth when it comes to speaking English. And uh, I would like to share with you because as a non-native English speaker, I understand the fear of making mistakes. And uh, even now, sometimes I do mistakes, but I am overcoming this kind of fear and learning my skills, honing it. At the same time, we are growing together to improve our speaking English. Do not be stagnant if you can't speak English really well right now. That was okay. That is totally fine. The most important thing is you are not going to stop to learn to enjoy English as well as thinking in English. It's really vital for us to enjoy speaking English. Just like right now, I am taking this opportunity for you to speak out. Because if we can't, who will? <laughs> All right, we will be tackling those kind of practice speaking English and what I'm teaching English to my students. Well, okay, without further ado, we will start right now. But I would like to tell you I'm not handing anything. I'm not holding any papers or I, have, I haven't prepared anything. I just want to speak with you normally. I mean, in a casual way. Because this English language is not just only for written text or it's not just only while you are handing a paper, you have to memorize in your head when you are speaking English. I want you to overcome your fear in speaking English because I always do. I put myself in a very difficult situation like public speaking to my uh, audiences and also with my students for the first time whom I'm meeting, whether they are two, three, or more than 10 students, that's fine. You just have to ace your speaking English by overcoming it and by doing it in a habit or filming yourself in a video camera, on your phone, these things. Okay, so... I just want to share some nuggets of information about becoming English confident speaker. Number one, to overcome your fear is that no English speakers are shy. So you shouldn't be shy. <laughs> Why? It's because if you are shy, how could you speak, right? So try your best not to be shy by filming yourself or recording yourself on a camera. That is the first thing. Recording yourself on a voice recorder or a camera. Second thing is that work on your pronunciation and also your accent. Don't worry too much about accent because even though you have a sharp accent, roughly, that's totally fine because we have our uniqueness. We have a different nationalities where we can expose our accent. And that's really interesting. When we are speaking English and we speak a different accent, it's totally fine. 
Because that is not our goal. Our goal is to speak with clarity, confidence, and credibility that has its own positive impact to people. And when they think of us, they just smiled. <laughs> and that is the most important thing for us to speak English confidently. So number one, yeah, jot it down, is recording yourself even though you don't have a te teacher, if you can't pay your teacher, that's totally fine. Just record yourself and your voice. Yeah. Second thing is sing English. Yeah, because you will get the melody and the rhythm of singing as same as English. Yeah. Let's uh, make an example. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been waiting. <laughs> no, I'm just pulling your legs. Pulling your legs means I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, um, what kind of song should we sing? Let us sing. Uh, let it go, right? Let it, let it go. Let it go, let it go. The perfect girl is gone. Here I stay. <laughs> you see, there's a rhythm, there's a melody. And when you range your voice up and high, your diaphragm could feel a lot of air. And while you are releasing that, it vibrates to your throat, to your vocal cords. So that's why it creates sounds. That's where your voice comes from. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's just an example, you know. You can have any other songs that you could memorize and just sing it. Yeah, I also do that when I first studying, I mean, yeah, studying Japanese. Yeah, I, I sing Japanese songs. Yeah, would you like an example? Okay, I'll give you an example. Yeah, you see, there's a rhythm of each language. That's why the second thing is sing, sing, sing English. <laughs> sing English. All right. And then the third one. Yeah, the third one is... Dun, 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 dun. try to join to group classes where you can expose your English. Yes, it's very helpful because in that time, you're exposing yourself, overcoming your fear in speaking. And when you overcome your fear in speaking English to the group, you have already win it. You have already made a very productive and progressive factors in your speaking English. I tell you, it really works, okay? So we have so many free platforms or how would you say that? A group classes where they could conduct online, just expose yourself in speaking English, try to participate in their classes. And, uh, of course, help the influencers too because they are doing their best. <laughs> and then, yes, just like their videos and um, support them. So you can give back, no? It's not just uh, you are attending the classes, but you can help the organizers as well. Yeah, just give back. You know? Just give back and have a win-win situation. <laughs> Business. <laughs> okay. And... Um, that's the third thing. Let's enumerate. The first one is we have to da, 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 da. we have to uh to think in English as well. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah. The first one I almost forgot. Oh my god. Okay, the, the first one that we were talking before is recording ourselves. Yeah, recording ourselves or in a video, whether in a video or voice recorder, so we could hear our voice, our tonality. The second 
One is sing English. The third one is join group class. The fourth one is as much as possible, we try to think in English. Yeah, uh, I believe that you have heard that many times, think in English. In that case, it doesn't like literally you're going to be thinking in English. It's just like you've got to speak English to yourself. Yeah, say it, not just think, but say it. Let's say, for example, oh, God, it's too hot. I would like to switch on my air condition. Just like that. Simple. Oh, when I wake up in the morning, I could hear some birds humming outside by the window. I would like to sip a cup of coffee. Oh, God, I'd like to check my Facebook crush. <laughs> These things. Did you see? Yeah, it's important, right, to think and say English. You're not crazy. You're just practicing by yourself because you would like to own English language, to own it as part of you. That's why this is one of a great method, not just to think in English, but say it better, to say it by simply adjusting your thinking in English to say it in your daily lives. Okay? <laughs> Interesting, right? Okay, yeah. And after we have, th we have already thinking English and also we are speaking English in our daily routines, simple. Yeah, it doesn't have to be very big. Just simple. We try to read any newspapers in English, whether this is an article or any English books where are some of my books here okay uh it doesn't mean that i want you to read english textbooks like like this <laughs> or any kinds of writing books no i mean is that any kinds of books that's really interest you yeah i mean uh, for example um uh, how to win friends and influence people, this kind of book. And then when you read this, you can find new vocabularies and it also improves your expressions, the way you talk. Roughly, you'll get a lot of, of nuggets of information from here. And also, yeah, think and grow rich. Yeah, let's, let's uh, you know, reach our goals to become rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay so think and grow rich yeah this is also one of the best-selling books from napoleon hill it's really interesting and super engaging as well so this is really good recommendable books for you to to read i mean any kinds of books that you are interested in reading it improves your English as well, because we can get some newly vocabularies from any other books that we are going to read. So don't be lazy in reading. Try to read at least 30 minutes every day. <laughs> because 30 minutes every day creates... Uh, okay, let's do a calculation. Let's do math right now. Any kinds of calculations? So 30 minutes times 365 days for one year. Oh, so we've got like 10,950 minutes. That's like more than 5,000 hours. Wow, that is so cool, right? I can't believe that. So if we miss one, one day for 30 minutes, then yeah, if we missed... We will, uh, we will miss our learning, right? So we will try to read. Don't miss in reading at least 30 minutes a day because it improves our English much more even faster, okay? Um, you can skip your breakfast or dinner, but not in reading 30 minutes. <laughs> Okay, I was just thinking uh, something, sorry, sorry to intrude. Okay, so that's just the first getting ahead. 
so we could accelerate our English and boost our confidence. Well, thank you guys for tuning. Please support me in my YouTube channel and also in my Facebook. You can like it and comment on my my all social media platform on Instagram. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. And I hope we could continue having a conversation like this, talking about English, overcoming our fear in speaking. And um, yeah, let's see what kind of topic next time. And uh, yeah, later we're going to be having a group classes in the future. For those students who would like also to learn from me you can direct message to me yeah and for those students who would like in a group classes i can give you a like 80 percent discount for that i am super happy to engage and to help you improve in your spoken english and um thank you so much i hope that you can also like my video and subscribe for more videos to come. Thank you for supporting me. And also, uh, I would like to support you as well to become an English confident speaker. See you. Bye for now. Bye.